The Tale of John Henry Once there was a man named John Henry. John Henry was a mighty man. In fact, John Henry was one of the strongest men who ever lived. He was over seven feet tall. He weighed over 300 pounds. His muscles were the size of bowling balls. There was nothing about John Henry that was not big. Even when John Henry was a baby, he was big and strong. When he was born, he weighed over 14 pounds and was nearly 30 inches long. People like to talk about the day John Henry was born. When John Henry came into the world, there was a loud clap of thunder. His first cry was heard all around the town. Everyone knew that John Henry had arrived. As a child, John Henry loved to work with his hands. He often spent time down at the railroad, carrying beams and boulders for the men working on the track. I'm going to be a steel driver for the railroad one day, John Henry would say. No one laughed at him when he said that. Even as a child, John Henry was big and strong. He would make a great steel driver. And John Henry did become a steel driver. In fact, he became the best steel driver the railroad had ever seen. A steel driver's job was to help make a path for the railway. John Henry would use his hammer to cut holes in rock. He'd raise his hammer high in the air and then drive the steel spike down. John Henry could drive a spike into the rock faster and easier than anyone else. There was only one problem with John Henry, his pride. John Henry knew that he was the fastest, strongest steel driver in the world. He loved to show off how fast he could drive a spike into the ground. Usually this resulted in more cheers and more money for John Henry. However, deep inside, John Henry knew that one day it might also lead to his demise. That day came one day when the railroad company ran into a problem. The track the company wanted to build was blocked by a mountain. It wasn't possible to go around the mountain, so the railroad company tried to go through it. Even with the best steel drivers in the world working for them, it would take a lot of time and effort. That John Henry and the other steel drivers worked for days. They swung their hammers and drove in the spikes. Still, after over a thousand hours of work, they had barely made any progress. The railroad company started to look for other ways to create a hole in the mountain so the track could go through. That's when a traveling salesman appeared. The traveling salesman said that he had a drill that could make it through the mountain. This drill is even more powerful than the famous John Henry, the traveling salesman boasted. When John Henry heard about the powerful drill, he was not impressed. I'm much stronger and more powerful than some silly drill, he said. The salesman heard John Henry boasting of his strength. If you are so strong, why don't we hold a contest between you and my drill, the salesman said. John Henry agreed to the contest on one condition. I know I'm stronger than that drill, said John Henry, but because the drill has fancy features, I must be allowed to use two hammers. The salesman agreed. The next day the competition began. John Henry and the drill will compete for eight hours, the salesman said. Whoever has drilled away the most rock at the end of the time period wins. John Henry got to work with a hammer in each hand. He and the drill kept drilling and drilling. Rock was flying everywhere. When eight hours had passed, time was called and all the work stopped. Members of the railroad company measured the two holes in the mountain. The fancy drill sold by the salesman had drilled 90 feet into the mountain. John Henry had drilled 120 feet into the mountain. The crowd let out a cheer. John Henry lifted his arms in triumph. However, he forgot he was still holding his hammers. John Henry's arms were tired after drilling for eight hours straight. As he lifted his arms with the hammers in his hands, his strength gave out. Then both hammers fell and hit him on the head. The crowd rushed to John Henry's side, but it was too late. The greatest steel driver in the world was no more.